In this video, we are going to cover another very important class of ADO.NET that is SQL Bulk Copy. Basically, this SQL Bulk Copy will provide you the way where you can load the data from an XML file to a database table. And similarly, you can also copy the data from one table to another in the database itself. So let's see practically how can we do such major operations using SQL bulk copy class. So as in our earlier videos of ADO.NET, we have written an XML file using the data set. Now I'm going to use this same XML file and I'll copy the data from this particular XML file to the one of the table of database that is SQL Server. So as I said in the description, like SQL bulk copy will allow us to write an XML data in the database table. So here you can see there is one table, one tag called employee and inside this what I have done is I am simply passing three columns such as EMP ID, EMP name and DEPT ID. So there are four records like 101, 102, 103 and 104. So now let's first of all create one table in the database with the similar structure or whatever column you want to copy from this XML file. So in the database I have already created a table with these three columns like EMP ID, EMP name and department ID with the name EMP. So let's see now what I all have to do with this SQL bulk copy class. So here again it's a very simple form like I have taken a button and on which uh, there is written like write to database so as soon as I uh, click here all the data of the XML file will be written in the uh, database file database table. So for that as you can see I have used the SQL connection and data set. So first of all what I will do is I will read that XML file as I have already used the write XML method of data set and data table for writing the data of data set in an XML file. Now I'm going to read the data from this XML file which I just shown you here. So this is the file which is located in this location which I have specified like e drive a data folder and then data.xml and inside that you may get a number of uh, tags like maybe like here it's a very simple file uh, there is just an employee tag inside which you are finding the data maybe after all the employee da table uh, employee data you will be getting some other like departments data so what I'm doing here is I'm specifying like I'm just looking for this data so what will happen is when you will say read XML so in the data set there will be a one table called data, ta data table called e employee in which all these records will be written if there is some other tag like department in the same data set there will be another table another data table with name department or whatever uh, the name of the tag is so likewise what I have done here I have just read the data of employee data table and I have copied that in this DT. Now this SQL bulk copy will be in action in which I will pass the connection object so that it will come to know like okay the target table will be in which server which database. The connection object will tell all these things to this SQL bulk copy or object called copy. So first of all I will tell like what is the destination table name as the server name database name is already there from this connection object there may be a number of table in that database so you will have to target a particular table and for doing that I have specified destination table name property with the value called EMP and EMP is the name of the table which I have created in the database now uh, next thing is like here there may be some different tag name and in the database in that particular table EMP there may be a different column name so what we'll have to do we'll have to match that like here it is EMP ID EMP name and DEPT ID and here also I have specified the same name but though I have to do the mapping as well even if you have the different name no issue you can do the mapping in the very same way so here what you can do is copy dot column mapping dot add and here in the add what you will do is first it is a source column index 
means the column name from the XML file and then second is the destination means the column name of the data table I'm sorry not data table it's a database table all right so there's the tag name uh, basically I should not say the tag name because I have already copied the data into this data table so all right it's fine so it's uh, employee ID means the source name from where you are copying I'm copying it from the XML file XML file is being copied to this data table and now I will copy this one to the database so th both the names are same so here in the second argument if there is something new in the name of the columns of the database table you will have to specify that in order to do the mapping once you are done with all the columns you can simply open the connection say write to server with the and passing the data table object all right and then later you can close so that is all the code here let's execute this to run all right let me change the startup object here the name is bulk copy so bulk copy all right so the startup now let's execute here I'll say write to database so far there was no data in this table let me refresh it now and here you can see all the same four records 101 2 3 and 4 is being written in the database using this SQL bulk copy object